Hello guys, this is Slicey and this is a review on the Bandai Tamashi Nation's Robots Tamashi or Robot Spirits Pacific Rim Uprising Cy Jaeger Guardian Bravo. So let's take a look at the box real quick. So here we have the pictures of the uh, Guardian Bravo 2018 Main China, part of uh, Bandai's Tamashi Nation of products, rated for ages 15 and up. Here we have the emblem for the Guardian Bravo. Uh, number is uh, 233 from the Robot Damashi line of uh, robot action figures by Bandai. We have the UPC distributed in North America uh, by Bluefin. So uh, these figures all are uh, all around the same price except for uh, Gypsy Danger, which is 19.99 US dollars. All these figures you can see here, besides uh, Raijin. Uh, the soft vinyl spear raging are $39.99 US dollars. And uh, yeah, here we have some more pictures of Guardian Bravo. Uh, let's take a look at his bio. Designed for combat at range, Guardian Bravo wields the Elect 16 Arc Whip, a proto metallic successor to the Chainsaw, and bring a new sophistication to the Chainsaw Whip Lash. Moves. Elect 16 arc whip included. 24 points of articulation. Okay. I think I forgot to uh, mention the uh, uh, the bio on Saber Athena. So let's take a look at that one. Sleek and most elegant Jaeger ever created. Saber Athena is the fastest in the fleet, wielding a twin blade in hyper acrobatic combat. Includes. Oh, so these are called plasma swords. <clears throat> okay, so sorry about that. I kind of goof on that last review. Anyway, uh, most of these figures have pretty much the same joints, so they have pretty much the same articulation. Let's take a look at the uh, instruction manual real quick. Okay, so it looks like you can remove the uh, shoulder armor on this guy, and uh, yeah, it, it's pretty straightforward. So it's gonna be a pretty short review. So. Obviously, I already have the Arc Whip, the Lux 16 Arc Whip equipped on the Guardian Bravo. Very cool. And uh, let's just take a look at this one. I think in terms of color separation, uh, the Guardian Bravo is probably the best one out of all the Jaegers. Maybe aside from uh, Gypsy Danger. Yeah. As you can see, Gypsy Danger is still probably the tallest one. No, uh, not Gypsy Danger, Gypsy Avenger. Gypsy Avenger is probably still the tallest one in the uh, uh, the series and see how he looks like when he's uh, fully uh, stand up so he is about six inches well actually f almost six inches and the arm just came off the hand just came off anyway so there we go pretty cool it's got uh, some very nice print on this figure. So let's go ahead and swap out the uh, accessories. So you can obviously remove these uh, Elect 16 Arc Whip, and uh, they're made from a uh, soft rubbery material. Obviously, I think it's all molded in this uh, clear translucent plastic or rubbery plastic, soft plastic, and the uh, handles are painted in. So pretty cool. Got two of these. Very nice. And uh, you can also swap out the hands right here. Again, the robot damashi joint. Please use, uh, please be careful when working with these. And uh, you just want to work the hand into that ball joint carefully. Don't apply too much force because you can snap that joint in half and then uh, you'll be in trouble. <clears throat> or you can have, you, you will have to buy another figure and you know, repair it or something <laughs> so uh, for accessories we got two of these open hands two of these open hands and we got two gripping hands all right so let's take a look at this guy got some nice prints here right here 5329 I don't know what that means and then uh, we got the uh, Pan Pacific emblem right here also got another print right here this one is GN049 I don't know what GN stands for either. And again, no paint application whatsoever on the back of the figure. Basically, uh, it's mostly just part separation. We got the black parts here for the uh, crotch piece. 
we got the uh, joint parts all molded in the, I guess silver or uh, light gray and then we got the uh, uh, torso piece molded in this red plastic and then we got the uh, back of the uh, shoulders uh, molded in this dark gray plastic so it's pretty decent uh, we have the uh, very nice paint job here for the visor and the face yeah that's a that's a paint application and the shoulder armor are actually a uh, two piece uh, two separate piece of plastic so we got the white plastic here and then we got the red plastic on top of it so that's pretty good very nice color separation now it looks like the forearm is molded in uh, the red plastic and they just paint it in this piece right here so looks pretty clean except for the edges right here you can see uh, there's uh, that's just me being picky and uh, yeah overall I think it's pretty good obviously these are all painted in but I think these are separate pieces so they just you know paint it and then attach it to the legs I think this is a separate piece so part separation and the bottom of the uh, calves are paint application so yeah uh, you know one day they cut some corner with this line because uh, they want to sell these at uh, you know a reasonable price for the uh, North American audience but still keep the you know the robot Damashi quality of figures obviously they have a really good you know it, it feels like a quality figure and uh, it's actually obviously it's actually an action figure that you can actually do stuff with so you don't have to worry about you know loose joints and stuff like that you can put this guy uh, in various dynamic poses and it can stand on one feet so Oh, one leg so that's really good so I don't know if I need to really go over the articulation they all have the same exact articulation all across the line so we got double ball joint for the feet same thing uh, double joint the knees and then we got the uh, double ball joint here for the hip it's actually two uh, ball joints so we get the double ball joint here one goes into the hip one goes into the uh, thigh and then the, the side has a socket that goes into uh, this piece right here which also have a ball joint so you get really great range of motion out of this one so you can put this guy in a lot of dynamic poses and unique to this figure is the well the shoulder armor all have very similar joints too so we got a hinge right here that goes into the uh, the torso and then we got a ball joint that goes onto the shoulder armor so you can articulate that now uh, these uh, these shoulder parts are a little bit weird. It just you know they use the same parts on all their figures. So you know if you're looking at it like this, it looks really weird. But if you cover it up, you can see the uh, shoulder armor. Uh, it looks a lot better. But yeah, got the one shoulder joint in here. Can move it back and forth. You have can rotate the arm 360. And then uh, we also got the bicep cut, double jointed elbows, and obviously the hands on the double ball joint. One into the forearm socket and one into the hand socket. And just be careful of that joint and you should be okay. The neck is actually sitting on the double ball joint. So one ball joint goes into the uh, torso or the, yeah, the, the chest section and then one goes on the head. So this one you can, oh, you're really not going to be able to go 360 with that head because of the shoulder arm yeah you can look down can look up rotate side to side and that's pretty much it this is actually a pretty good looking figure in terms of uh, color separation possibly one of the one that uh, that will definitely catch your eye I, I like the color scheme you know this one looks pretty unique he looks very uh, just he's just got a very nice presence to it I like that shoulder armor too so and that you know uh, the back piece on the torso looks really cool these weapons are very nice yeah I, I, I like it so it's a pretty good figure again great job on um, Bandai on developing these uh, uh, these figures for the robot Damashi line and keeping it at a uh, reasonable price and I think that's pretty much it hope you guys find the information helpful thanks for watching